Hello, and welcome to Statistics. My name is Dr. Robert Knight. I will be your instructor for this course. Since you are watching this video, it means that you have already registered in my math lab. The purpose of this video is to go through some of the highlights of the course. I would like to also give you some suggestions on how to best do very well in this course. And I will be covering some of the features of this course that are not necessarily covered in the syllabus. Once you've logged on to my math lab and selected the course from the courses listed in my math lab, you will be at the course homepage. On the left hand navigation bar, you see various links. The links that you will use most frequently are the assignments link and the gradebook link. There's also a link to the electronic textbook as well as chapter contents of the textbook that we'll be using for this course. Clicking on the Assignments, you'll notice that the drop-down menu is set to All Assignments, All Chapters. I suggest you leave these settings since it gives you the order in which you should do the different assignments in this course. The Orientation Chapter and the first six chapters should be done before attempting the midterm. When you click on any one of the assignments, You'll notice that there are a number of questions that are listed. You can go to those questions by simply clicking on the question. You can elect to leave the question in its present size, or you can elect to maximize that question so that it fills the full screen. As you attempt the different questions, you will probably find that you will need help in doing some of these questions. The Get More Help feature at the bottom is designed to give you help. Here you can see that the amount of help being offered here is really minimal, so that for this question the best option would be to click on the textbook link. This will open up the textbook to the chapter dealing with this particular question. You can go from one page to the next in this particular chapter you can move the textbook out of the way or minimize it and go back to attempting the question. In some assignments, when you open up the question, you'll notice that there is a media that has been introduced. This is a media that either I have made or that I have found on YouTube that I think will be a big help in doing the remaining questions. When you open a question and attempt that question and check an answer, you'll notice that you're told whether it's correct or incorrect. In some questions, you will have a number of attempts to try that question. And after doing that question, you will see the correct answer as well as your answer. This question actually had two parts, which I will intentionally get wrong. And after attempting it a number of times, I can either try this question again, which brings me to a new similar question. For some questions, you'll notice that at the bottom there is a link called View an Example, as well as a link called Help Me Solve This. If you select the Help Me Solve This link, the program will help you solve this specific question, but then at the end you will not get credit for that question. You will be asked to solve it again. I suggest using the View an Example link, which when you open it, goes through a similar problem and explains how to do that very similar problem. After you've gone through by hitting the Continue button, you also have the option of printing out that explanation. If you elect to print, I recommend you print to an Adobe PDF and then give this question a name and save it to a folder on your desktop containing examples explaining how different homework questions have been solved. Once you've done that, you will have a record of the different homework problems that you had some difficulty with, you will be able to use those saved problem explanations when doing the midterm and final exam. 